So here we have the Toyota Auris on a 15 plate. I'm going to start off by hopping inside the car and running through some controls first of all. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. Over on the right-hand side, we have the speedometer and the fuel gauge. On the left-hand side, it will show you what gear this car is in. It's an automatic, so of course we're in park at the moment. And then we have the gauge that shows you whether the hybrid motor or battery is charging, whether we're driving in the eco mode or power band for the car. Also in that bit, you'll see that it says ready in green. That is highlighting that the vehicle is running. Um, at the moment, you might be able to hear the engine in the background, so of course you would know it's running, but if it's running in electric vehicle mode, of course it'll be silent, so uh, that's your indicator that the vehicle is, is in fact turned on. In the middle, you can then see the total miles of the car, which are only 33,313, so very low mileage uh, for the car's age. Uh, if we back out to the steering wheel, uh, we have our stereo controls and phone controls available to us on here, and then in the center, is the main touch screen itself. As you can see, we have a color satellite navigation system. We've done a video showing how Toyota's sat-nav system works. Uh, you can find that on our website and also on our YouTube channel as well. Uh, this is also where you will access your audio options. So you can see AM, FM and DAB radio, auxiliary input, Bluetooth audio, so you can stream your music wirelessly as well. Uh, we have CD player, iPod input and separate USB input up there as well. You can pair your phone from the telephone heading. We're going to say no at the moment. And this is where you access your satellite navigation just here. If I pop the vehicle in reverse, you can also see a full color reversing camera as well. Working our way down from there, we have our climate control. You can adjust the temperature, fan speed, and the direction you'd like the air to be distributed in once it enters the car. The air conditioning's off at the moment, that button turns it on and it's on when that green light shows. Same button to turn it off, of course. All hit auto, the car will now take control of the fan speed and direction of the air to maintain the temperature that you've asked for. You can override that manually at any time you wish to. Put it back on your own settings here. You'll see auto has now gone off. Uh, we have a heated rear screen and heated mirrors on there as well. Below that, USB and auxiliary input for our music. Uh, we can force the vehicle into its power mode, so the engine essentially, we can put the car in eco mode, and if there's enough charge, uh, we can force electric vehicle mode. If I give that button a push now, you'll hear that it's gone silent, and up on the main screen, we've still got the ready that I mentioned before, but we've now also got uh, EV here, and in the top to let you know that the car is in fact running, but it's in electric vehicle mode. And then finally, we have uh, the gear lever for the fully automatic gearbox. We can hit park from here and we've got reverse neutral drive up there and a 12 volt charging socket and then heated driver and passenger seats just here. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car for yourself and have a test drive, please feel free to call either of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.